and immediately I felt the presence of seal. Okay, so I want to talk about seal a little bit. So when you see a seal swimming underwater, what you see is this streamlined, very streamlined, fluid creature with these flippers. And it flaps its flippers very vigorously, a lot of strength. And then it tucks its flippers in and it just glides. And then it flaps its flippers really vigorously, a lot of strength and power. And then it tucks them in and it just glides. So it's, it's this balance of vigorous, vigorous focused effort and then letting go, surrendering, and letting that energy carry you forward. So this is a, a tremendous essence for surrender, for balancing action, putting forth energy, and then trusting that you will be carried exactly where you need to go. Now, a lot of us in Western cultures are, think that, okay, if we're going to be good people, we need to be flapping our flippers all the time. Can't stop. No, no, no. If we stop, we're bad or we're lazy. We're not good. And we have to do, 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 do. And what happens if you do that all the time? You're just going to... You've lost yourself. Well, you've lost yourself. I love that. You've lost yourself and you're going to crash and you're going to burn out. Okay? So this is the tonic for people who don't know how, to, who feel like they have to flap their flippers all the time and you don't know how to tuck them in and trust and let that energy carry you forward. Who don't know how to stop and trust that things will work out. They don't have to keep flapping their flippers all the time. So this summer I was in California with my family and we were at a park out by, out by the sea, big waves crashing and the seals were up sleeping on these incredibly uncomfortably looking rocks like really jagged and they were like, you know, like really twist their head and they were totally asleep and then they'd like move themselves around a little. And Mary and I said, okay, this is a, a sleep seal is a tremendous tonic when your bed feels like doesn't feel right. You just can't get in the right position. And we experienced that that week because we then went camping for a week and we were in a campsite where there were like lots of little rocks sticking up, you know, it wasn't flat. And so we both had experiences on different nights. We th said, we're going to need some seal. So we made some seal. And we both had experiences of sleeping like uncomfortably and then taking the seal essence and settling. So it is a great tonic when you can't get comfortable in bed. So there's one other major application of seal I want to talk about. And that is it's a great tonic along with swan for dealing with body image issues especially for women, for people who don't feel graceful in their body, who don't feel like, who feel their body is awkward, uh, that they don't move fluidly through the world. Swan is great for embracing your beauty, for seeing yourself as perfect as you are and, you, and embracing your goodness and inner beauty, inner and outer beauty and expressing that. And seal is great for those who don't, know, don't feel comfortable in their body in the way it moves.